I'm so happy. So I'm like, okay, we're bonding. Everybody is not like this. Something was just off. Grace and peace and good morning. Good morning, everybody. Praying all is well with all of you. Whoo. I'm home, y'all. I'm home. And the construction is crazy. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice what they were doing. Your girl is back home. And that's all I really got to say. <laughs> This has been such an amazing, an amazing time. I really don't have, I well, I'm not gonna say I don't have too much to say. I don't have, I don't know what to say. I am kind of still in the emotions of it all. And I, I am so full. I am so full at what the Lord allowed to happen. I am so full on what he continues to do. He amazes me with the things that he allows me to do in this earth. I still haven't really processed everything, but all I can say is as of right now, currently as I am speaking, not in current time of this video, but current time of me speaking, I am still on a high. I am still just trying to process everything that has happened and um you know with an amazing trip there was a lot a lot of issues when it came to getting back to the states first y'all so um like i said i'm still very much in my emotions to the point that i had to let out a worship cry on the plane because i could not contain everything and and i noticed that during the trip i really couldn't cry like i know me i'm such a cry baby so like i know i couldn't really cry but when i got on the plane i just felt everything coming down and i just had to let out the biggest cry and because i'm so grateful i'm so happy i'm so full I had a beautiful time and i just like i said i just don't really have a lot of words in this moment y'all support has allowed me to do things like this and um i say it all the time but i'm so grateful i'm so honored to even do what i do and i recognize what the lord is doing and how he's using me and i don't take it for granted i don't take it lightly you know what I'm saying? And um, and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. And of course, I pray that more of you can come on the next trip because we are going to go on an, uh, another trip, uh, 2025. So that is currently in the works as well. I, will, I already let the girls know where we're going. So they get first dibs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The girls, they get first dibs on the next trip. Um, but if you come on that trip, you'll get first dibs on the next trip as well. So I'm really believing the Lord for this to be like a yearly thing. If that can happen, that would be so amazing because that was actually one of my prayers and my uh, goals for, you know, this coming year and, you know, the years to come was just to do more hands-on things with my supporters and, like, meet you guys in real time and just have these experiences and just time together. So, and I miss Avery so much. Her mom did... I already know her mom is, I love her mom so much. Um, she watched Avery for me and I just know Avery had the time of her life. She had a little getaway too. I don't even want to wear anything tight for real. I just want to throw on some comfy, something comfy. I am getting ready to get dressed <clears throat> so I can go pick up Avery. Go get Sunny first and then, <clears throat> y'all something is in my throat this morning. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'm trying to find like a little t-shirt to put on. I hate when I cannot just like find something to throw on real quick. It is not that serious. I don't need to be dressed up. I just need to put on clothes. Let me put on my clothes, BRB. Oh, guys, I made it to the car. I hope Sunny is in the mood to grab some breakfast because I'm starving. I just, I really don't even want like anything heavy. Like with food, I kind of just want like a smoothie. So I'm gonna run by. I'm gonna run us by Tropical Smoothie, if anything. Let's see what Tropical Smoothie is talking about. Y'all, I have missed my car. I have missed driving. Oh my goodness, now I see how Laysla feels because she said when she went to Peru, she didn't drive at all. You know, they, they walked everywhere or she, you know, they got, I think she said they got like taxis or Ubers or something. Um, but anyway. Yeah, like I see how she feels because like now being back in my car, I just feel like I'm sitting up so high and I just, it just feels different driving my car, but I'm so grateful. I feel so good to be back home. It's something about going on vacation and then when you're away from like what's normal, like certain things that might get on your nerves while you're at home, like for me, 
the construction got on my nerves and honestly i don't care i don't care where i'm at i'm not gonna miss that <laughs> i'm not gonna miss that because that got on my everlasting nerves like even this morning when i woke up it was so loud and obnoxious i'm like yeah no i did not miss this at all y'all at all but they still ain't fix this garage door our garage door has been broken so i'm not trying to hit you honey Oof. We are here at Sunny's. We're gonna go get our dogs. <laughs> see my squeal goo. It's my baby! Hello! Hi, honey! Hi, baby! Grace and peace, and good morning, everybody. Praying all well with all of you. Today is a new day. Today is a new day. Today is Tuesday. I'm taking it so easy today because yesterday when I tell you, I got straight back into work like yesterday. I didn't even get any downtime. Yeah, I didn't really get any downtime at all yesterday. So I'm like, okay, well with getting up today, let's take it easy. Let's just sleep in. It's literally 11 o'clock. I think I woke up around like 10 something and I just never really like give myself the downtime that I know that I need to give myself when I come home. And yeah, I got y'all my other tripod right now just because I don't even know where my small one is. Stuff's been disappearing, so I don't know. I'll have to find it in a little while. Um, but anyway, it is 11.30 and there are some things I need to tackle. I worked yesterday, so my living room is a mess. I had to dig for like stuff out of my suitcase. I have opened up both of my suitcases. They're just literally sitting here on the ground. I need to take my trash out. I have PR packages to go through. I have editing to do. Um, I need to clear out some stuff in my refrigerator. So like there's just things I need to do. It's not a lot, but there's just things I need to do. And I wanna get those things done today. I am on the more like tired side because obviously I wanna go to the gym, but I'm just, mm. So I'm stuck between riding out to go get something to eat because I don't have anything here. I didn't grocery shop before I left. So, you know, for obvious reasons. So there's nothing here for me to eat. So I'm just trying to figure out what I want to eat, what I'm in the mood for, all of that, right? So anyway, my living room's not a mess. It's just, I did a campaign yesterday and I got a bunch of new stuff. And so the clothing are just kind of everywhere. But I really don't even want to put all this up because I, I want to do, um, like, so this campaign was for YouTube, but I also want to do something for um, Instagram, just showing some items. So I don't know if I'm going to do that today because I'm like, I'm waiting for the sun to come out so it's nice outside so I have a lot of lighting. But the lighting's not bad. Even, like, here the lighting's not bad, but it's, like, tons of clouds. So you really can't, I don't know, I just feel like you can't see all that well. And I, like, want you to be able to see. So I'm just going to fold up these clothes and I'm just going to take these to my room on the bed. Type deal, type beat. Cause yeah, I did <clears throat> I did a great job, you guys. I cleaned up my house yesterday. I mean, what? I cleaned up my house before I left for vacation. So I came home to a clean house, which is great. <clears throat> but now that I'm home, I'm over here messing it up because now I just got stuff everywhere. <laughs> peace and welcome back to another video i think it's the same video but good morning um it is wednesday um may 8th and i'm getting ready to go out i just got done with my work day it's i've ended my work day very early today because i had to catch up on some work so i just buckled down and finished everything i needed to finish so i'm gonna kind of have like a day to myself just to kind of go out shop around um and just do some things that i want to do and yeah but first i gotta take care of my dog so avery is <laughs> needs to be brushed i have treats in my hands while she's like all in my face right now i'm looking for you know i need my tripod avery i know baby i know i'm looking for my tripod and i can't find it so give me oh i know i know exactly where it's at 
in the car. Embarrassing. Okay, come here, Avery. You gonna knock the camera over, come here. You gonna knock it over, sit. Come, sit. Look, smell it. Okay. I gotta brush you first, sit. I know, sit. I gotta brush you, Avery. Hair getting tangled. I know. Let mommy get you. I got you. Okay, stay. Let me get you some more treats. Good, Avery. You got a bunch of treats I can give you. But you gotta sit down. Okay. Come on. Look at all the hair coming out. This brush looks terrifying, but it gets the job done. But look at that. We can come right through your back. That's good, boo. That's good. We gotta keep your hair long to help mommy out. You're doing so good. Sit down, sit. Good girl. Look at that. This is so different for us. You don't ever let me brush you. This is so good. We're bonding. Y'all see all these clothes on my bed? <laughs> We're bonding, baby. You did good, Buki. Okay. The weapon is gone. She only want no more treats. You don't want the last treat? Here you go. She is not having it with me right now. But anyway, I'm kind of stuck between not wanting to go anywhere and just clean my house. Not that it's dirty, because I literally deep cleaned before I left, but it's this. I have clothes like unpacking and just when I was packing, I had took stuff out. These ain't even mine. These are Sunny. Sunny, come get your blazers. We got Sunny's blazers in here from the panel. Like, <laughs> there's just a lot happening. So I'm kind of stuck between just kind of staying in and handling that or, I mean, I won't even be out for long. I just kind of wanted to run a couple of errands. I wanted to go to the coffee shop. I wanted to go to Warby Parker. I wanted to go to, yeah, I just want to go to that shopping center and just shop around, you know? You know, black people. And then I was gonna grab me some lunch while I was out. I was gonna go to one of my favorite restaurants and just kind of have like a whole sit in by myself moment. I'm going out. BRB when I get outside, cause I know how I am. Hey guys, I have made it out of the house and I am getting ready to be en route to where I'm going. And I'm really excited just to kind of have a day with me and God and relax and regroup my thoughts because I definitely had a frustrating day yesterday. Um, just because I was overwhelmed with work, I got behind on a couple of deadlines and there was, there was just a lot going on. So I was like, let me get caught up on my work because that's what's important. And then after that, I can just kind of give time to myself. So after I was done with work, I filmed two pieces of organic content, which I'm gonna try to get the both of those up today. And then I'm going out where I said I'm going. I paid some bills. I paid my credit card bill. So now I'm like, huh, <laughs> huh. what are we gonna go do? So yeah, I'm feeling good, I'm looking good, and I am good. So I'm getting ready to head outside, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. You guys, I have been listening to, so she's just doing what she wanna do. Yo, I have been listening to this Sunday Soul. It's like R&B gospel. Let me tell y'all something about this R&B gospel stuff. Be mindful, okay? Be mindful, and this is something I feel like the Lord was telling me. Be mindful of this R&B gospel. Like, I understand the idea behind the R&B gospel. It's more of like a vibey music. Like. I'm here for it. I'll bump to it. Madison Ryan Ward is one of my favorites. She definitely gives like R&B gospel. But just be mindful. I'm not saying who, what, when, where, and why. I'm just saying be mindful of some of these R&B songs because sometimes they're not necessarily glorifying God, okay? They are still kind of rooted in... Um, uh you know feeding feeding yourself feeding your flesh feeding like just because they mention jesus just because they mention a scripture does not mean that it's something that is glorifying god and i'm gonna just say it there was this one song it was some rapper and he was talking about some wisdom drop off her tongue all this stuff but it was like mixed with an r&b song and i'm telling you Listening to that, I'm not thinking about God. I'm not. I'm thinking about jaw breaking because that's what that music was for. Throwing a gospel song on top of that is like, 
you just got to be mindful with certain things. I'm not saying that. Just use your discernment when it comes to glorifying God because what had happened was yesterday I was worshiping and I had this gospel mix on and it was like the R&B gospel and I could feel the pull of the Lord like asking me to come and talk to him. So I was like, okay, cool. So that music was on in the background, but y'all, when I tell you, I had to cut it off. I said, uh, 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 uh. I can just tell, like something in my spirit was just like, this is not glorifying him. This is not it. I couldn't tell you what song was on. I don't know. All I know is I cut it off and I cut on my usual, my regular degular, which I always share in my gospel playlist. I'll drop it here in the description box as well. But I was just like, yeah, no. So if you ever listen, if you ever see me listening to like quartet music, like when I say quartet music, I feel like it's a lost art. Like nobody is making quartet music anymore. I don't understand it, but whatever. So it's like stuff like that. You just gotta be mindful of, um, you know, how we just bump and carry on to these R&B songs. And like I said, I get it. Like sometimes people don't like to listen to hallelujah, Lord God almighty. Like don't nobody wanna hear that in the gym? Cool, understandable. Everybody is not like that. I will blast some shouting music while I'm in the gym. It is what it is. All I'm saying is y'all just be mindful. But who am I? Like, just be mindful of the things you open your ear gates to, especially when it comes, especially when it comes to listening to um, like this Christian rap, Christian R&B, just be mindful is all I'm saying. Not always what it's cracked up to be type deal type beat. Y'all, it was a parking spot down there I could have pulled into, but it's okay. I'm gonna just use the parking garage and hopefully there's something open. It is a beautiful day. I am so happy to be out. It is a beautiful day outside. I got me a book. I got my journal. And there's a parking spot right here. Thank you, Jesus. Oh! <laughs> When I say I serve a good God, I sure do. I sure do, y'all. I know I do. Thank you, Jesus. He got me a spot right here. Um, ooh, I was coming in hot, y'all. Let me pay attention. I don't even know what I was saying before that, but I'm happy to be alive. It's a beautiful day out here. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day. And um, let me put on the little microphone cap because it's windy outside. I can already tell. Um, I kind of wish I brought me like a little bag to carry all my stuff in, but I will see you guys when I get situated. I'm trying to say, do I want to go eat lunch first or go shopping first? I think I'm gonna go eat, BRB. Big bag, big bag, big bag, big bag. Yeah, my bag is loaded up with snacks and different foods. Squeeze into this tiny shirt, my big bag has no room. Girl, I y'all know Wally Parker. I'm about to see the new arrivals. These I saw online. Ooh, how cute! this skirt these pants and then I have some trousers and some shorts so let's try those on okay these I like I like how they fit and they're loose and they got other colors Grace and peace, you guys. I am back home, and as you can tell, I have been chilling out. But I'm getting ready to go to Bible study. I definitely want to go to Bible study. I was sitting on the bed and I was editing because I was gonna take me a little nap. But anytime I like actually want to take a nap, I literally cannot, and it's the e it's the easiest, it's the most irritating thing ever. So I just got some editing done. I've been working on my Costa Rica vlog, which obviously is already up and live because this vlog is two videos behind some other stuff that's going live. So y'all have already seen that. But anyway, I'm still working on my Costa Rica vlog. Still left my tripod in the car. Mm, mm, mm. But I think I'm gonna wear my new pants from, actually I can put y'all my other tripod. I think I wanna wear my new pants that I just got from Uniqlo. Uniqlo. 
You in a glow? Yeah, glow. Embarrassing. Hola, mami. Hey. Como estas? Huh? How are you, mom? My brain, my brain ain't working right now. Come on, huh? Embarrassed. What are you doing with your drinks in the back? All right, guys, I think this is what I'm gonna wear. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. But I gotta get ready to go. This is what I'm looking like. I'm gonna just put y'all on the camera right here. Don't mind my mess. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's chill. It'll do, it's just gonna suffice. My little purse ain't gonna match worth the darn, but I think green on green is cute. I don't care. I'm gonna be chilling today. I'm ready to go get my Bible. I'm about to redo my lips real quick because, yeah. Get ready to go to Bible study. So you guys, I got me some new glasses. These glasses are called Kimball. And they literally kind of look like my Latrells, like the Latrells and these are very much similar. I mean, they're not similar as in shape, but they're similar in, you know, obviously tortoise. Um, but before I go, I want to show you guys. Oh, so I went to Sephora just to kind of stroll through there. I ended up getting this. I've been seeing this go around that this is really good. And then I got the NDA, which is Jackie Ina's perfume line. My Sephora, they've been sold out. Jackie Ina has, has been selling them out, honey. So I couldn't get my hands on like the big one. So she did have the NDA in the travel size and that was legit all they had. But the NDA smells really good. So I'm just trying to see how this is gonna wear. I don't wanna spray too, too much. And I love that it's travel size so I can take it with me. Yay. Yeah, NDA smells really good. I think out of all of them, that was the one I gravitated to the most. It was a little bit more like grown and sexy. Hold on, let me get Avery some food. Yeah, that was the only smell that kind of smelled more like grown and sexy. I'm gonna see how when I get in the car. I'm rushing now, BRB. All right guys, I am in the car, headed to Bible study. I don't necessarily care for what I have on, but I don't wanna be late. So me and what I wear, it, it really is not gonna even matter. So I just put on my favorite go-to cargo jeans. They're from Target. I got on my little coach sandals. And then I got this green top from Zara, but it actually is a matching set with a, with a skirt. So if you see this green top again, just, yeah, me and Green go together real bad right now. Yeah. I went out for a solo date, right? I went out for a solo date. When I tell you, when you say you're gonna go do something by yourself and you really wanna have that time just to yourself, please take that time. Just take the time. Put your phone, and I see why people put their phone on Do Not Disturb all the time. Like I pick at my sister and Sunny. They always have their phones on Do Not Disturb, but I get it. I get it because I'm gonna tell you this. I sat down at the dinner at the table at the restaurant so I could get ready to eat my lunch. I started getting a phone call. I was like, cool. I was like, the person who was calling, like, they cool. So I was like, all right. I hadn't talked to them in a while, but I was like, um, like, let's, you know, maybe this could be time to catch up because I believe in, you know, timing. Like, maybe this was the perfect time I could catch up with them, see what's been going on in their life, whatever. We get on the phone, like, I could just tell something was just off. I said, oh, nope. I said, hey, listen, I'm gonna call you a little later because I'm actually eating lunch right now. And I had to shut it down because I could just feel the conversation. And like, mind you, in the past when I've talked to this person, like we've had great conversations, but it was like, it always ends up being something. So I was just like, um, mm -mm. nope. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and shut that down. I'll um, circle back later. If you say you're gonna go do something, by yourself and take the time by yourself, have the discernment when to like, because it just so happened that I get the phone call right when I sat down. Like I don't play around with timing. Timing is so significant. And I'm saying all that to say, it kind of disturbed my lunch a little bit because I was like the stuff they were saying, I was just like, okay. <laughs> like it was just a weird conversation almost. And mind you again, I hadn't talked to this person in a while. So like the stuff that was being said on the phone kind of left me, it just kind of left me confused in some more things. And I was just like, see, this is why I don't get on the phone when I say, I'm not gonna get on the phone. At least text me first and say, hey, hey girl, like, you know, at least text me first and be like, hey girl, like I wanna, you know, catch up or whatever. Woo, woo. Then I can at least plan for it. But then calling out the blue, I'm thinking the conversations are ready to be positive and it's just not. And I'm like, okay, I just, I just don't want, I just don't want 
you know, I just don't want. But my solo day ended up being kind of cute. I ended up getting me some new glasses. So these are my new glasses. And I'm trying to figure out why my phone is saying I'm gonna get to church at 719, then my car is saying 723. It's so funny when I used to, like when I was younger, I used to hate the fact that I had to wear glasses. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, dang, can't see. I got bad vision, whoop, whoop. But no, like fast forward, I love wearing glasses. Do I like the fact that I can't see that well? Obviously not, but I love glasses and honestly, I really wouldn't change it. If I could change it, I would change it. I would improve my vision to where I wasn't so, without my glasses or my contacts, I'm just like really gone with the wind. Uh, I would change that, but honestly, I wouldn't fix my vision completely. I love my, I love wearing glasses or I'm not talking crazy. Or maybe I would still fix my vision and just not get any prescription in glasses. I would just buy frames, which I pretty much do for the most part now. Like I have glasses, you know, that have my prescription in them that I wear. And then I have frames that I could put prescription in, but because nowadays you can just buy the frames and go on about your day. Yeah, I mean, I got my go-to frames, but I'm, I'm trying to sort through now because I at some point, um, since now I have an updated eye exam, I wanna go um, and put prescription in a couple of new glasses that I've recently bought over the last few months and um, and put my prescription in those because those are glasses I wanna actually like wear. I don't wanna just wear it home because it matches my outfit. Like I wear glasses for real, like I can't see. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know, but Serena Williams came with the makeup line. So I bought a bunch of her products like some weeks ago. Still haven't touched it because I just really haven't had the time to. So I wanna do that. Um, I have some skim stuff I wanna film for you guys because I got a bunch of new skim I items um, that I've been loving and just some other things so tomorrow is gonna be a full full day of filming um, organic content which I'm really excited about as I was telling y'all before like when I'm in a funk I do what I need to do all the extra I don't do but now I'm out that funk I'm doing what I need to do and I'm like okay now let's do the stuff that's I'm not gonna say it's not required it helps the business but I'm like yeah I got the energy now like yeah let's film some organic stuff like let's get into it so yeah so that's what I want to do also my nail tech was able to squeeze me in tomorrow she had a cancellation so I'm going to go get my nails done tomorrow because I have somewhere to be this weekend and content to film and I just don't want my nails looking crazy and not that they look crazy, but the chrome pieces, like, they have turned black. Because the way she did it is she, you know, she put it on with black and then she did the gold chrome on top. So the underlayer was black, I guess, for it to show up better. So as the chrome is peeling off, the black is showing through and that's just not the vibe for the nails. So you see how that, like, it just doesn't look good to me anymore. So I was like, oh girl, do you have a cancellation by chance? Because my appointment wasn't until the end of this month, the end of May. So I'm like, girl, do you have a cancellation so I can come? And um, I don't know what kind of design I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look up some stuff tonight when I get back from Bible study and just kind of see what I want on my nails. Do all these through Christ that strengthens me. Grace and peace, you guys. Welcome back. No, it's the same vlog. Grace and peace, you guys. It is a new day. I am in the car, obviously, and I'm getting ready to go get my nails done. I think I was talking about this yesterday on the way to Bible study, y'all. I cannot wait to get my nails done. When I tell you, I looked up so many nail designs yesterday, it's not even funny. So I still haven't picked anything, but once I get in her chair and, you know, we're taking like, um, cause I'm doing Jellix again, so you have to take the Jellix off and then put it back on so when I do that I will skim through my other phone um, I mean my other nail options I'll, I'll skim through my other nail options and see which one I want to do but I have so many there is one I am gravitating more towards I was gonna do green again but since I did green for vacation I'm like mm, let me not do another green even though me and green go together real bad right now real, 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 real bad but me and blue go together real bad too blue is my favorite color so I'm like mm, I don't know what I want to do alrighty guys I just went by um tropical of the smoothie and I am getting ready to roll out dun, dun, roll out dun, 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 dun. Anyway, guys, so yeah, I have gotten me tropical smoothie. I'm matching the blue. Um, 
so excited to go get these nails done, y'all. Um, but I'm feeling good, looking good. I am good. God is good. You know, you know, black people. I'm going to have to squeeze in some kind of way. Because people in the city are mean. Ooh, y'all mean. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do in the city because there are roads you can't take, things you just can't do, all this and all that. Like, girl, bye. Okay, we're back in route. But anywho, you guys, so yeah, I'm headed to get my nails done. I know I said that probably about five times already. There's like several nail designs that I've seen that I want. So I don't know if I wanna do like a French tip. I don't know if I wanna do like, I kinda wanna do this style again, like with the little bubbles, um, but just kinda different. And then I'm kind of like, oh, I'm in the mood for just like French tip, like plain white French tip. But then I'm like, mm, is that giving too, like, I don't know. I just wanted to give chill. I want to, I want like the nails I have, I want to be able to see them every day. I want to like see it every day and not get tired of them, if you know what I mean. So like this, if it wasn't for the chrome, like peeling up like that, I would have been rocking with these to the end of this month. If you want to know what I get, I get a Paradise Point smoothie. Mm. Bomb. And then I get the chicken pesto flatbread sandwich with no tomato. And really, I should be getting it with no um, mozzarella cheese, too. But anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit because it's kind of traffic -y right now. I think it's just because it's lunchtime. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So cute. <laughs> so cute. You guys, I am back in the car. And these are my nails. When I say I am so happy, I went with a short set instead of doing a whole nother like gelic set over again. Not that I didn't want to do the gelic set. It's just when she took, when we soaked the nails off and she was doing like my cuticle care and getting all the nails, you know, perfect and stuff. I was looking at my nails. I said, wait, I said, maybe I want to just not do the gelics. And she's, you know, she's always like, of course, like whatever you want. When I say I'm so happy, I went with this and I changed my shape. So last time I did Biab, I don't know if you guys remember, I had square, but I'm so happy I did the Biab, like my little almonds. When I say this is probably my favorite way of having my nails, I'm so happy with my nail decision today. <laughs> I love when that happens, y'all. I love when that happens so much because it is nothing worse than getting your nails done and you do not like them. There is nothing worse than getting your nails done and you wish you would have done something different because let's be real nowadays getting your nails done it is not a cheap situation it is no longer $25 for a full set it is no longer $40 for a full set and a pedicure like it is no longer that and you know just spending that kind of money on nails is like like I said you can't just be playing around you gotta you gotta make sure you like what you getting you know Hold on, I thought I could go but I can't then go after this truck um but yeah you gotta make sure you like what you're getting especially if you're gonna sit there and spend that kind of money on nails so yeah so today well honestly every time i get my nails done i'm satisfied like that's obviously why i keep going back to her she's amazing rachel shout out to you girl but again my actual nail appointment so now that i think about it my actual nail appointment was next week which i could have waited if it wasn't for having plans because I have somewhere that I'm going this weekend. And honestly, I just didn't want my nails to look crazy. I wanted my nails to look nice. I wanted them to look, you know, really good and all the things. So that's why I was like, girl, if you have a cancellation, can you squeeze me in somewhere? And she, Lord and behold, had a cancellation. So of course I squares in there and got my nails done. And I'm so happy. I'm so excited. They feel good on my hands. They look good. They look good. They feel good. They are good. And I love them. Um, but I'm getting ready to head back home now. I'm going to post some organic content. And then I have two slacks I need to answer for my management. I'm working with a brand this month. I'm so excited about. Very, very, very excited just to show you guys who it's with. Um, but that is one of the things I need to handle when I get home. Is I need to send something over for them. And then I have some edits to make to another brand. She just sent it to me. So actually, let me... And peace and good morning everybody praying all is well with all of you i am in the bathroom getting ready to take a shower it is friday it's gonna be a beautiful day it's rainy 
outside, like extremely rainy today, like super rainy. Oh, here is construction update. I don't know if I've given y'all like a construction update, but yeah, they are outside working hard, but they have a lot going on. My sister's been joking around with me. She was like, how is Six Flags going over there? <laughs> Guys, it's like y'all are doing so much. Y'all are doing so much. But anyway, um, I don't have a lot of plans today. My day is kind of free, so I'm going to get cleaned up and then I'm gonna run downstairs and just kind of taking some, um, take some time just to get some editing done. I really wanna get the Costa Rica vlog up today. So that is like my tip top on the agenda. But yeah, I'm just going to, I cleaned up a little bit, straightened up my house just a little bit. It could be straightened up even more. I just have to, which I might do next week since I'm back from Costa Rica and I have a little bit more downtime now um really get my house in order because just looking at different areas in my home irritates me and yeah so i'm gonna get that handled and get some stuff straightened but anyway anyway i'm gonna take a shower i'm gonna put the glasses on i think i'm just trying to show y'all yeah i'm going to take a shower i wanted to put on a little face mask before i got in just to kind of help detoxify my skin and i use this one from fresh and it deeply cleanses and purifies so we need that. <sighs> but also, I need a brush to apply this joint. But it's this one from uh, Sephora. It's the 47. And it's so cute. I'm gonna wash it real quick. And just like that, she is now nice and clean. And it's one of those masks. I think y'all have seen me put it on before, but it's one of those masks that gets hard. So it looks like that on the inside. It's like a clay mask. It's something to detoxify my skin. Let that sit for a few minutes. I think it's like three to five minutes. And you know, a lot of other masks usually are like, you know, you could leave it on a lot longer. I ain't gonna lie, I do leave mine on a little bit longer, but I don't wanna do that too often because I don't want anything to get irritated, so. I'm gonna go take a shower and I'll be back in a little bit. BRB. All right, you guys, I just got done filming a makeup review. Um, I just used the Serena Williams new makeup line, the Win Beauty makeup line. Oh, I need my tripod, okay. Y'all, so pretty. My skin looks so nice. I need some earrings on. I don't know what I did with my earrings, my little go-to earrings. I'm honestly, I'm about to stop taking out oh, right here in my face. I'm about to say, I'm gonna stop taking them out because I wear these joints every day and they're my favorite. They're from Kendra Scott. They're the cutest little, they're the cutest little, I don't know. Little circular earrings. Like, they don't do too much, but they still give me something. I don't like really big earrings like that. If I have on some big earrings, I'm either on vacation or there's a really special occasion or something. Because I'm not a big earring girl. Um, I'm always like little hoop studs. I do something a little bit bigger just for like a little bit more of a moment, but they're still on the smaller side. Anyway, that's not the important part. The important part is this freaking makeup is gorgeous. Like, look at my face. Look at my skin. Yeah, it has been a little bit later. I went downstairs and I got a bunch of work done. I'm so proud of myself. I got so much work done. So today was pretty productive in terms of my Friday. So I am about to take these glasses off. I'm about to pin curl my hair back up because it's rainy. It's just not the weather I prefer. But we have a rainy day today, as y'all can see. So that is not grounds for me to go outside. At least not tonight. I don't really even feel like going anywhere, honestly. So I kind of just want to chill. So I'm going to take my makeup off and pin curl my hair up. I'm about to put y'all on a tripod so I can take y'all through my little routine. Ooh, yeah, I think, I don't know if I have a bump in my ear, but when I say it is, whatever it is, is the most painful little thing. Put y'all on this tripod right here. Is anyone else out of the loop of this like rap battle between Kendrick Lamar and Drake? I've been hearing so much about it, just seeing all the memes and stuff about it. I'm just like, I'm just so out of the loop. <laughs> so out of the loop. Okay, the bump is like up in here. It's like right here. I do have that little camera thing for my ear. Let me see if I still have it. Because I definitely had it before I moved. Yeah, there are days when I'm in this new apartment and I'm like, I still can't believe I moved from where I was living before. I still can't believe this. I mean, I can, but I'm still just shocked and in disbelief a little bit. But I don't know 
know if you guys have ever seen them, but they were they were selling them on TikTok and it was like these little ear cameras and you could stick it. Be careful though, like, but you could stick it in your ear and you could see any like wax build up, all the things. So it was just something I had bought one. I bought me and my sister one for um during the holiday season and um and yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of hair oil just on my ends. I'm gonna use my Olaplex. But this is how I wrap my hair with my hair being like curled. I'm gonna do a whole video on it. Um, so I just take the clips and clip it like that. And I do about four. I do two up top, one in the middle, one like in the middle. And I just curl it the way it's naturally going. So it's kind of swooped in that way. And then you just take the clip, clip it up. I want to host a game night so bad. I don't know what it is about game nights that just get me so excited. I love like the just the competition, challenging stuff. It's just fun. So I want to I want to host a game night. I was telling Sunny about it earlier. I'm like, I just want to host a game night. You know, I, it's just in me to be a host for things. And honestly, I, I've explained this before, but that was why I got the town home because I was like, oh, I want to have like people over and then that didn't really work out like that so even being in this new place i've met new people and i'm just excited so i'm just like oh okay. like even though i might not have the biggest place in the world anymore in terms of space in my home but that's okay it doesn't matter where you are it's just about the people you're around so i'm surrounded by some amazing people even the new people that i've met are amazing so <sighs> um i want to have a game night if y'all watching can we have a game night like let's get into it but anyway, um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be like inside my home. Oh, and I forgot to mention during the panel weekend, we had a game night at my house. We had my manager at Laysla. We had um, Sunny's coordinator, which her name is Narely, which y'all saw her. Narely is so sweet. Love her. And, um, and yeah, we had like a little game night. It was pretty fun. So stuff like that I love, like just hosting, having games. It's to the point that I ordered, <laughs> I love like deep questions, like thought provoking questions kind of games. So I was on TikTok and I was scrolling and there was this couple sitting down talking. They knew how to promote that joint because they got me, they got my $30. A card game is $30, but I bought it and I'm excited to get it. I've been checking my stuff cause I want it. But they have some really beautiful questions. Um, really, really nice questions. And I mean, it's questions where it can kind of turn the conversation serious in a heartbeat. So obviously time and place to pull those out. But especially like if you're getting to know someone like special, I think those card games would be nice. And I mean, one of the questions I saw on there was if, what did it? It was some, I can't even remember now. It was something, but when the girl answered, she ended up talking, oh, what is like one traumatic thing that you think still affects you to this day or something like that. So it's like, again, you're not gonna play this with everybody. You know, of course, play these games, you know, play, it's not even a game, it's just a card, you know, type of thing. You can kind of make it what you want, but obviously you'll do that with people that you trust with, you know, that kind of information. And then, like I said, if you're getting to know somebody, you know, obviously knowing those things are helpful for, you know, a potential relationship. So I just thought that was sweet. So I bought it, you know, just in case. But I love stuff like that. And honestly, bump playing it with people. Sometimes I'll sit and look at those questions myself and it'll be things like I talk to the Lord about. So I think it, it could be a beautiful game situation that you could do with yourself or with your girlfriends, family, or your, you know, your person, things like that, I think would be really nice. Now, one thing that I don't like to come off is my mascara. Like, it's not waterproof, but I'm always like on my eyes for a minute, trying to make sure all of the mascara is off. Like, look at all that black. It's just a lot. I'll take a little bit of this Versed cleansing balm. I love this stuff. And you can also take your all of your makeup off with just this too, if you don't want to use makeup wipes but I'll go through. This just kind of helps really get everything else off that the white really didn't get. So when you go in to clean, you see how much more mascara I had on my eyes after all that rubbing and carrying on. So this is just gonna go in and really pick up anything that is left over. 
I love that stuff. And then you can either take a brand new makeup wipe. I'm gonna just go back through with the same one and just kind of wipe off that balm. We're gonna clean the skin anyway, but I just feel like that just really helps get all that mascara off, please. Okay, now that I can't see because my contacts are now blurry for whatever reason, I'm gonna go in with my cleanser. I'm pretty sure the sale still might be going on by the time I get this vlog up. If not, I'm sorry, but I know Polish Choice had 20% off of their skincare. So I'll go in with the Polish Choice. This is the sensitive line. This is just like a gentle cleanse. And I like doing this one when I don't need such a harsh wash. So again, I just literally took off 98% of my makeup with the balm and the makeup wipe. So I just need like a little gentle cleanse. And just like that, the face is clean of any makeup. I mean, it got everything. I say it all the time. Putting on makeup is real cute. It's a vibe, it's a moment, it's all the things. But taking it off, whew. Okay, going in with my La Roche Posay. This is my um, hyaluronic serum. Favorite hyaluronic serum ever. This right here, I just feel like it's taking my skincare to the next level. I love this product. And when I say love, I mean love it. I use this drink every day. Every day, I don't skip it, every day. But it just hydrates my skin so well. Going back to Paula's Choice, I really like this one. This is their Youth Extending Moisturizer or Hydrating Fluid is what they call it. So I just do a little bit. You don't need much of this. Two little hearts. Makeup is cool, but I love some skincare. Um, using this one, this is the Hydrating or Hydration Balancing Emulsion from Fresh. This is probably my top three, mm, I'll say top five favorite skincare products. I love this stuff. And then I'm running out, let me go ahead and finish this off because I've been using my new one. Because that's the one I took with me to Costa Rica, but I'm going to be using the Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. And I got a little one, how, look how cute. I got a little one to travel with to Costa Rica, so this is my new one I've been using. Oh, but you see, this is so good. This is a little pricey. This one is about like $55, I think. Crazy work for skincare product. But when I say this stuff is amazing, I'm not wasting nothing. She's done. I've scraped off what I could get. Let me get that little bit in there too. I've scraped off what I could get, but I got this little one. You don't need a whole, whole lot, but I got this little one I've been dipping in. I'm just... You don't need a whole lot. But I did get a small one for travel. And I know I'm gonna run through that one real quick. It feels so good. I like to use this. I mean, this is kind of, people say like use thicker products, I guess at nighttime when you get ready to go to bed. So I, I'll use that at nighttime. But child, I use it during the day. I use it as my morning routine, night routine. I don't care. I use it for everything. And then we're just finish off with a little bit of facial oil to seal everything in. And I heard it on Instagram. This lady was talking about how to keep your hands youthful as you age. They say any facial product that you use, put a little bit on your hands. Like don't wipe it off, put it on your hands. And I was like, heard you. Put me on a little bit of glasses. I'm gonna find that, that camera thing because I know there's a bump. I can feel it and it hurts. So I have somewhere to be tomorrow and I look you need to go get the gift. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a card and like a gift card. I'm going to a birthday dinner. So I <sighs> just wanna make sure I got that. I kind of wanna do, I don't know how that would work. But anyway, y'all, I did a review on Instagram today of this. When I say this is amazing, I will be wearing this. Yeah, I will be wearing this. I low key wanna go to Ulta and get a different color. Cause this one matches me really well with my tan. I'm just like, mm. so maybe it's okay for now. It's not a necessity, but I don't know. I know Target closes tonight. I could easily go to Target right now and go pick up what I need from the store. But yeah, I'll probably just go in the morning and go pick that up. But y'all, I think I'm just in the mood to read a little bit and get some dinner from somewhere. I'm giving myself a little bit of a break this weekend and we're starting fresh next week on Monday with um, meal preps, meal plans, all the things. At some point this weekend, I'm going to the grocery store. So we'll, we'll rack up and I'll take you guys with me to the grocery store. And then, um, yeah, so we'll do that. What else? 
So yeah, so honestly, this weekend is giving kind of Jalen, not necessarily eat what you want, but just enjoy eating out because next week we're not doing that. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. So I think I'm gonna just chill out, kick my feet up a little bit. I may or may not do some editing just because I'm trying to stay on top of my vlogs. I think I've been doing good since my last funk vibe. Um, I pray that y'all have seen the difference because I felt amazing. God is so faithful. So um, y'all see ya. Hi, boo. I went on live today and people was asking about my Avery. They was like, how is Avery? People love you, Tooks. I always find something to lick on my shirt. People love you, little girl. Uh, where you going? I heard something pop. You need to calm down and hurt yourself. Then we'd be going to the vet and I'd be pissed. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna go throw this away because I don't need this. I'm not returning nothing. I love the skin tint, I love the concealers, and I love the blush. So we keeping everything. Um, I'm gonna go figure out what I'm gonna eat for dinner and then I shall be back. I, I actually need to run to my car and I'm just, I can't, yeah, I need to run to my car and go get my camera and tripod out of there. I'm, it's on the tripod now, but this is not my usual tripod. This is like my bigger camera, big boy tripod. I just sat y'all on because I was tired of sitting y'all. Y'all can tell I'm in a good mood. Anyway, BRB. Grace and peace and good morning, everybody. Praying all is well with all of you. Um, today is a new day. It is Saturday and it is May 11th. We're ready to get up and get dressed for um, this birthday. I guess it's like a birthday brunch. I kept saying birthday dinner. The thing definitely starts at 12, so it's definitely a birthday brunch, not a dinner, but um, oh, it's currently 8, 11, 8. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting dressed because I need to make a run to Target and it's about a 40 minute drive for me, so yeah. And to make sure I'm ready to rock and to roll. Yeah, but y'all, I got my worship music on. I'm about to, I'm gonna do like a little get ready with me for like TikTok and stuff, TikTok and Instagram. We're gonna do that, we're gonna get that in. But I slept pretty good, you guys. Let me pick y'all up. I slept pretty good last night, which I'm so grateful for because Y'all know how I am. If I don't sleep well. Oh, I slept really good last night, so I'm feeling pretty energized. It's a beautiful sunny day. There's some clouds in the sky, but not thick enough to, you know, block the sun at all. So it is beautiful and sunny, like I love it. So, but yeah, after the brunch, um, after the brunch, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll, I'll pretty much have like the whole day to just kind of do whatever. So I'm not sure what I'll do later. Um, we'll figure something out. I kind of want to put my robe on. I love to wear my robe. But the only thing is my blue robe is filthy and I threw it in the washing machine. So that joint is washing. I do believe my other robe is clean. Oh, I love that robe so much. That blue robe is such a vibe and I just love it. I love a waffle robe yeah you guys have seen this robe a gazillion times it is my robe that i got from nordstrom and it's amazing <laughs> it is absolutely amazing i want another waffle robe that's long this one's pretty short it kind of stops at the knees yeah we're gonna be using the wind makeup again i got to run that back and then i noticed yesterday when i wore it i didn't even actually put my primer on i only put one of my primers on which was the mac one and I was in the, because I wasn't going anywhere, so I was just like, mm, I don't need that much on. I just want to see how it wears. And I'm like, but Jalen, do a full wear test. Like, see how with your products. Like, it's hydrating, so you already know you're going to be oily. It's like, put on your stuff. What are you doing? Grace and pizza, good morning. We have somewhere to be. Let's get dressed. So I'm going to a brunch today, and I'm really excited. Getting out of my comfort zone. I'm so tired of living in fear and living in this, like, bubble. I have a great personality. Like, this is not to sound cocky or anything, but I have a great personality. I'm funny. You know what I'm saying? There are other people who have great personalities and that are funny. Why not get together and ha ha he he? You know, come on, he he ha ha. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to a brunch. Definitely meeting a bunch of new people today. So am I a little nervous? Yes, but 
we call it a com we're, we're not we're not living in that no more i don't care i'm stepping in i'm stepping into all that god has for me and i'm not talking about material things goals career stuff none of that i'm talking about just the simple things no longer being scared to meet new people no longer living in the fear of rejection all right so i just recently tried this win beauty skin tint i'm running it back again this stuff was good. I love the way my skin looks. We're gonna run this back. Oh, that is where I'm at. I think for so, I think, <clears throat> hold on. I feel like for the longest time, I've always was like, you know what, God's blessings are these material things, but I feel like sometimes we can look at God's blessings only as, oh, this material thing, oh, he you know, got me this job, this new car, this new house, but what about those mountains that you can't see? What about the internal battles that you deal with that no one else goes through but you? And to me, okay, this foundation definitely does oxidize. Like, look at that. Not terrible though, but it does oxidize. I didn't see it yesterday, but mm-hmm. I'm gonna go up a shade. But yeah, but for a lot of the times, you know, I've always asked the Lord to help me with like internal battles and stuff. So I knew going into this new year, that is what I wanted. That is what I strive for. I did not want to live comfort anymore, which is crazy to say, oh, you're comfortable. So that's a great thing. Like no, comfortability. <laughs> started to get to your girl it started to hinder your girl and that is why i'm i'm doing more things that i don't want to say scares me but i'm just doing more things that i don't want to say i don't want to say the stepping out of the box and doing things scare me but i'm trying to step more to those things that i have feared so much in the past and last year i dealt with so much anxiety i was going through a lot to the point that I didn't really like to leave my house. So going forward, um, we're doing things. We're getting outside. We're meeting people. We're having fun. I don't know if you guys saw it on my story, but that's why I had asked like if anyone is in any small groups at your church because I'm just I'm just trying to see like even when it comes to ministry, like getting outside. I want to get outside and I want to talk to people. I want to experience people. I want to converse. I want to share testimonies and stories. I want to talk about the goodness of God with other people and it's beautiful what we all can do on social media but it hits different when you can do those things in person I'm trying out some new makeup lately so this is a new cream bronzer and i really like it it's by i think you say it say it's by that brand and i'm using medium bronze and i really like it because it's not super dark but it does warm up the skin a lot i will say that the blushes are really nice too and you can kind of put on a lot and it's really not gonna go crazy so if this looks very intimidating just give me a second but let's talk about it like let's chat down in the comments like what is something that you are doing this year or have started to do this year that has you know kind of combated feelings of i don't know maybe something that you've been scared about doing before what are those things that you're doing like i still can't believe i did this whole costa rica trip even though like yes i had been planning it for a while but i was talking to you guys on my live too i did this trip out of a faith i mean out of faith i did this trip out of faith because I just really wasn't in a place to do something like that when I first started planning the trip. So just to see how the Lord has really brought me to this place, really brought me through, really helped me, is really just a testimony within itself. Because I have no idea how I would have gotten out of it or how I would have been able to just come to doing something like this. Because you know like how you can fear if, you know, if people perceive you a certain way, like you kind of have those feelings and thoughts. That's kind of where I was. I was like, okay, people like me online, but what if they don't necessarily like me in person you know what if i have a a human moment and they're like mm, i don't know about that you know like i just was thinking about a lot of stuff like the blend is just gorge <sighs> okay you guys my outfit is as follows we're trying to do an outfit of the day horizontally i'm so used to doing it for tiktok and you can see the full body regular pin curls for the hair this shirt is zara i'll try to link everything that i have access to because yeah i might i don't know about this shirt you know how zara zara will have stuff and then they'll get rid of stuff it's one of those things like you have to grab it while it's there because they will never bring you back type thing type beat type deal um, i'm trying to bring y'all back as far as i can so y'all can see um dang i gotta go outside for y'all to see me i got to step outside the room for y'all to see me that is ridiculous okay i'm doing these wide leg pants these are from anthropology i got on these little aldo uh sandals just because we're in, of course we're in the warmer season so just like a cute pop of color when you walk is never a bad thing um i'm gonna wear my amazon sunnies 
which are like these big, big frames. And literally I've kept the outfit pretty simple because it's a brunch, so I didn't really wanna like dress up too, too much. I really know what I wanted to wear. And I legit said, God, please help me pick out my outfit. And this is what I gravitated to. So I'ma just say, God, picked out my outfit. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I feel cute. Mm, I feel cute nonetheless. I'm still trying to go back and forth about these glasses. I like the glasses. I love a glass. Y'all know me, I love a glass. I love glasses, but I'm also trying to figure out if it's doing the most. I don't know. <laughs> I keep putting them on, taking them off, putting them on, taking them off, so I don't know. Um, and of course I have like regular sunglasses that I could wear. So I'm feeling these. Ooh, I'm gonna have to do these. I love these pants. Like, look at these pants. Are you kidding me? I think I might just do my regular sunglasses and then just take them off when it's time to take them off. Um, Cause honestly, I'm not sure if this whole thing, I don't think it's a cookout or nothing. I just, I don't know. We gonna see. But I feel cute. I like it. I know how I am. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave and get out this house before I start overthinking. Cause when I start overthinking, it's never a good thing for me. I'm gonna overthink myself into, then I'm gonna be irritated. Then I'm gonna be frustrated. Then I'm gonna be all these things. And it's like, it's never that serious. Yeah, but so far I like it. My house has become a hog pen again. And y'all, when I tell you, I hate going somewhere and my house is not clean. I just feel like such an irresponsible adult. I hate it so much. I'm gonna clean my house. It's it's just clothes. Like I did a PR unboxing yesterday, so that's there. Then I have laundry over there that I kind of just threw in the floor in the corner because I was just in rotation to wash clothes. That's sitting over there. Living room is cool. My bedroom now has a few pieces of clothing on the bed. I, my bed is made though. And, but then my bathroom got stuff everywhere. Like I'm just, I just feel all over the place. And I'm telling you when my house is not in order, I'm not in order. <laughs> I mean, I'm good. I just, let's go. Let me get out the house. I'm going to see you guys when I get in the car because I still need to go buy Target. BRB. <sighs> Alrighty, you guys, I am headed to Target. Like I said, I just want to pick up like a gift card. Um, and so then once I do that, I'll still have a little time before I really even need to be en route to go where I'm going. So I'll probably stop and get me a smoothie, a tropical smoothie, just to put something on my stomach because I I had some pizza last night. And when I say y'all, I'm I really am done. I know I've said it probably about two or three other times. But when I say I really am done like cheating, I'm done cheating because it just like I can't even I can't even muster up all of the words I wanna say. I gotta get her cage out the back. That joint is bothering me. Um, but I can't even muster up all of the words to say of how much I hate feeling the way I feel in this exact moment. And obviously it comes from eating things I didn't need to eat. So I just feel very sick. Like I'm not, you know, I'm not sick, but I'm like, I just feel blah. We have made it to Target. We're gonna run in here real quick. I'm looking for like Amazon. But I don't know. No. I'm genuinely confused because they don't have any like just normal Visa gift cards. <sighs> hey you guys, I am back and I am in my car. I'm getting ready to go pick me up some food and then I'm gonna head to Sunny's to hang out with her and Lace. I have an idea where I want lunch from. I think I'm just gonna go hear me out, hear me out before y'all curse me out. Like, oh, I'm gonna take my rings off. Ugh. I am gonna go to Chick-fil-A. I'm just gonna get a little simple meal, nothing crazy. I literally just want some nuggets. It's a simple little meal. And we out here. Y'all, I know it got me sick last time, but it was what I got that got me sick. I be getting the grilled chicken sandwich and stuff. That doesn't hurt me. You know what I'm saying? It be the, it just be the other stuff that I get that be tearing me up. But obviously I got my girl with me. Um, she'll get to have some doggy time. I might give her a bath tonight when I get back. And then um, I need to figure out what I'm doing tomorrow because she invited me to this panel, I think, I think she said her mom is speaking on this Mother's Day panel, so I think that'd be cool to go to. If not, obviously I'll go to the church I've been going to. I do want to go to church regardless of what, so I will be in the house of the Lord, regardless of what, Lord willing, on tomorrow, because tomorrow is Mother's Day. What I went to was a birthday brunch, so I had brunch, the food was immaculate, and I just want to get me something else to eat, so that way I'm just not sitting at her house. Ciao! That way I'm not sitting at her house hungry. I'm on my soul. Oh, don't you get shy on me. Lift up your tongue. You've got a lion inside of those lungs. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
It's called Lifting Me, featuring Ashley, a part, but it's by Anthem Night Music and Brendan P. The sun is shining so bright here, it's like making a glare on my TV. But y'all, this joint has been on repeat. I found it on TikTok so randomly yesterday. Yeah, I guess the, it might be the Brandon P guy. I don't know, or oh, Brendan P. Is that a Y? Brendan? I don't know, I'm so sorry. I, I don't understand. And he had posted a video and he was like, since our song is going viral, and they kept saying, from the one, uh, na, 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 na. They kept playing that part. I said, hold on. That joint tingling on the inside. Let me cut that on. Yo, it is so good. Let me start that joint over. How it comes on, please. Sing it to rise no more. Okay, I gotta pause it real quick, but I was gonna talk to y'all for a few minutes and then I was gonna cut that back on. But that joint is so good. From the waters, he lifted me, lifted me. Like, that's so good. Okay. I think I figured out what I'm gonna wear to church, finally. It took me a little minute. Don't even know why, but it just did. And I'm okay with the outfit. I'm kind of more so in the mood of, if I just don't go with this, I'm gonna be frustrated. And I am choosing my battles, y'all. Picking my battles. And that is not one I'm about to deal with. So I'm about to do my outfit of the day for TikTok. Make sure I got the angle right. Make sure my background is situated. Let's see. It's not. Background look crazy. Grace and peace, everybody. Another day, another outfit. Praying all is well with all of you. Today is Sunday and it is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, here's today's church outfit. Whew, y'all, I'm out of breath. I don't know why getting dressed for church this morning was such a struggle, but we're gonna move and we're gonna groove. So this top is Zara, the pants are Forever 21, and this blazer is H&M. My little heels are Zara. My bag is Coach. I took the strap off today because, yeah. Um, Pandora bracelet, same Madewell watch, normal assortment of rings with my little special ring. Um, Kendra Scott earrings, normal bar and necklace. But yeah, but that is today's outfit. Again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, especially to my own. And um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye. <sighs> okay, y'all. I am done with that. Hey, y'all. I didn't charge my dad on camera last night. So, yeah, my phone is dying now. Y'all, you see what I'm saying? Like, these are cute or... I'd have to be realistic because I'm not gonna walk around with readers on. Readers I can't see unless I'm reading, you know what I'm saying? So I might not even put these on unless, let me go check the back of my head and make sure that looks right and I'll be back. Wait, hold on. Grace and peace and good morning. Yeah, it's your yeah. fire up. <laughs> it is Sunday, we are headed to Church. We're going to Sunny's, uh, well, her home church. Um, and her mom is gonna be on a Mother's Day panel. We're feeling good, looking good, and we are good. We're picking up your mom. Or she gonna just drive over there? She gonna be over there. I don't know. Y'all, I struggled this morning to find something to wear. I don't ever struggle that much to find church clothes, but today, I almost had on something else. I struggle every single For real? Yeah. We gotta start picking our clothes out at night like we used to do for school. So we can just get up, shower, we can do our makeup and just put our clothes on. Our first outfit would've been good. I picked it out last night, but I will say the weather is kind of throwing us off too because we kind of had a thunderstorm. Well, we had a thunderstorm yeah. last night. Ain't no kind of. We had a whole thunderstorm last night. It was raining, it was windy, it was lightning, all the things. And it was one of them nights, like, I don't know if y'all did this when y'all were little or when y'all were kids, um, how your parents would say, you know, cut the TVs off, you know, make sure all your devices are charged and just sit in silence and listen to the Lord work. That's kind of what I did. Me and Avery cuddled up in the bed and we listened to the storm until I fell asleep. <laughs> and I slept like a baby. But also, y'all, I used a different. Look at my battery. Stop talking. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Bye. You ain't wearing mine. You ain't wearing yours. I feel good. You ain't cold with the breeze. As long as we're not standing outside. <laughs> y'all, church. Y'all, church was so good. 
Hold on, unlock your door. My, I forgot my camera was down. Bears. Jesus, Jesus. Grace and peace and good morning, everybody. Praying you guys are feeling well this morning. Let me be honest with you, I'm getting ready to close out this vlog, but today is Tuesday of the next week. So next week's vlog, you'll see me again like this because I honestly forgot to close out the vlog on Sunday. And then yesterday, which was Monday, I was like, oh, let me go ahead and close out the vlog but then there was just a lot I was doing and I literally could have done it because I was up moving and grooving and everything. But I got to hang out with the girls yesterday. So that'll be in the next vlog, but yeah. <laughs> but today in real time is like Tuesday for me. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this week in my life because this week was full of things I had to do. And even this current week that I'm currently in right now, it's another week of full things so i'll do another it might not be a, uh, an exact like week in my life but it'll be another like work with me from home type deal type beat that'll be cool i have a hair brand that i'm working with and we're gonna be doing my how i usually do my hair with like the curls and everything and i'm really excited because a tutorial on how i do my hair is well overdue so it'll be great to show you guys you know what i'm using just using different hair tools and stuff but yeah i am getting ready to make my bed avery own it can y'all see her? Look at the little girl right there. Hey, boo. But yeah, anyway, this week was absolutely amazing. God's been faithful and whew, we're gonna talk about it in the next vlog, but there are some things. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna leave you with this and I'm gone. Get you some praying friends. Get you friends that have discernment. That's all I'm gonna say because it is so important and vital in friendships to have that communication. And me and Sunny, when we went to her mother's church or went to her church uh, this past Sunday, I met her mom's best friend and, and she was telling me how they had been friends for over 50 years. And we're just like, what? Like me and Sonny got about B5 under our belt. Me and Lisa got under a year under our belt. So I'm like, 50 years is just madness. So we were just really inspired to hear, you know, how people have just been friends for so long. And we know obviously it hasn't just always been kicks and giggles, but just wondering how you do it but you do it with God, you do it just how you have God as the center of your relationship or like with your spouse, but it's the same way, have God as the center of your friendships because if things come up or as life, life sometimes, you gotta know how to pray for your friends. You gotta know how to intercede for them. You gotta know how to cover them. You gotta know how to discern certain things. You gotta know how to, you know, beat the devil to it almost sometimes. So it's like, you need friends that know how to pray. You need friends that you can get together and pray with. And obviously I wasn't gonna record that, but even the girls came over last night and we had a prayer night at my house. And it was just a beautiful time. It was just a beautiful time just to, you know, just to hear what the Lord is saying, just to see the type of things that the Lord is doing in our lives. And even with the, the areas of our life that might not be as clear, <laughs> Um, God still comforts in such a beautiful way and he, you know, brings, brings us community and it's just so beautiful. So, and it's just like a full circle moment because I remember last year I got a message from, um, one of my like influencer friends and stuff. We were on a panel together, um, a couple of years ago, but I remember she had messaged me a while back and she was like, you know, the Lord put it on my heart to tell you that God is giving you your tribe. And at the time, I still had Sunny, but in terms of a tribe, mm -mm, I, it wasn't, what was told to me, my reality did not look like that whatsoever. So it was confusing. But full circle moment when I tell you God is faithful in the things that he says about his people. And for that, my faith has been encouraged. I've been encouraged. My belief has been in, uh, my belief has been increased. And I just, I don't know, it's just a beautiful thing. So when I say give you some praying friends, if you don't have those, pray to God for him to send you those. And um, I haven't always had that. I've had, I've had it. I'm not saying I've never had it, I've had it. But there definitely went, you know, went a time where I didn't have that. And just some things that the Lord was even breaking off of me that I did not realize was a thing. And that's why when you pray the hard prayer of, you know, God expose people around me or expose me, to myself, you know, so that way you can fix the things about yourself that might not be as pretty. And I prayed that and the Lord was showing me some things and I was like, hmm? but it's true because 
Yeah, it's it's just true. So when I just say God is just so good, I'm so faithful and grateful for my father, just how he loves on me, how he just loves on us and um, he is available to us. So yeah, it's just it's just a beautiful thing. So yeah, I just wanna leave you guys with that. I'm getting ready to start my work day. Again, it is Tuesday, so I will see you guys in the next vlog. I look, you have a headache. Anyway, I love you guys so much. So as always, if you're new, I'm Jay. If you're not new, I thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know in. And of course, until next time, Lord willing, God willing, Jesus willing, all the willings. I will see you guys in my next vlog or my next video. Oh, and also, um, last video, we were sponsored by Skims. If you haven't seen it, um, yeah. We were sponsored by Skims, y'all. God is good. <laughs> God is so good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we were sponsored by uh, we were sponsored by Skims and I did a video on my last video. So I'll put it at the end if you guys want to watch it and shop the links and shop my favorites and things. And yeah. God is good, y'all. I love y'all so much. Okay. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.